Okay, we're replacing the fuel rail. It's supposed to be three parts on it. So what's the parts on it, Mike? There's your PRV valve. Okay. Your rail itself. And your sensor. Okay. High pressure sensor. So what we think the issue is is the fuel pressure is around 5,000. It should be around 7,000. So we'll try to get that solved. There's the fuel rail that's going to be replaced. You can see right there. Stuff. And hopefully I'll solve the problem of it going into limp mode. There's the service truck. What do you call them? Baptist bugs? Yeah. Man, look at all those love bugs. <laughs> They're just flying all over the place. White truck means love bugs. <laughs> but if you look here, the locking mechanism is yep. missing. Right there. I just pulled it straight off. If it wasn't making a connection, it would throw, throw you a code, definitely. Yeah, I noticed any of the wires not making a connection will throw you a code. That's that's how we got that. We knew it was an injector error on the uh, other one. So what one. was broke? What, was it like a, the stud on top of the injector? or You're talking about the wire? Yeah. It was all the way back at the uh, the main computer. It worked. It plugged in there. It wasn't uh -huh. making a good connection into the pin. Oh, okay. And we actually had to sit there and just prime yeah. up to yep. make the connection. Yeah. And I as had, soon as we did that, the code code went away. Yeah, I've had that. Matter of fact, I'm fighting a, a loader. Hmm. Well, we were fighting a loader that way. And I was having five injector codes pop up and. I tightened up all the pins going to it. My codes went on. Well, another thing we did too, we could tell by the sound, but we also took a heat gun to it and we could tell that it wasn't firing. Up. We knew which injector was the problem because the code didn't tell you which injector was the problem. Right, right. And But we could tell by the heat gun where the problem the was. was. Yep. Yeah. Those look fairly easy to take off. They're not too bad. Oh, these? Yeah. The, the, yeah, these injector ones? Yeah. Go back with them. And probably a minute ago, you know, when I said heat gun, I probably should have said infrared gun to temp measure gun. temperature. Yep. Temp gun. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> Look who's pulling up, it's Robbie. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah. About time. Hey, Robbie. All right, now the work can start. Yeah, the work's get started now. <laughs> On that expensive flute, it doesn't even look like it's made by Volco. Or Volvo, I mean. It looks like it's an after, aftermarket. Bosch. Bosch. Yeah. That's the original injector. <laughs> Well, no, we gotta pull it off and look inside. Okay. Ooh. You wanna take a picture in there? I don't know if you'll be able to get in there. But there's stuff. 
that's on the ceiling surface. Okay. I don't know if you'll be. I, I do see stuff. Can you in see there. that? Yeah. That stuff that's in there? I don't know if that's up in there or not. Well, it's too hard to tell anyway until I get inside to see, but. Yeah, that's probably what it's in there. Yeah, that's what stuff at least isn't hard hard. No, just, it's not hard hard just yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely not supposed to be like it's supposed to be. So this right here, yeah. if you can see it, it mm -hmm. actually pushes in to let pressure out here. And if it stays pushed in it doesn't allow the proper pressure to build up. Well it has to come out to relieve the pressure. Yeah. Yeah, it pushes in once yeah. it builds up to so much. Yeah. But you can see how this is beat. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to take a picture of myself. Okay, there is the new rail. Let's see what Mike and uh, Robbie are doing. Where'd they go? Did I say something? Nobody's here. Mike and... Uh, Robbie left. The reason why is there's a solenoid right down there. Right there. You can kind of see where the cap wire connect screws into that. Mike actually broke that. So I was having to go back to the shop to get a new one. And there's no point in putting there's finishing putting the rail on until he gets a new one by chance he may um, do some further damage let's say because he needs to put that solenoid on then put the rail on but um, that's where we are today so he should be back in the next day or so maybe I'll do part two um, when they get back okay everybody have a good evening tonight bye